Hey guys, what is up? It's me, Link Wyland, and we're back with another unboxing, assembly, and review. Today we have the Pip-Boy screen upgrade module for the Pip-Boy 2000. This is also made by uh, the Wand Company, and it is looking really nice. The packaging is awesome. So if you guys want to know a little bit about this, it's an illuminated display, pa uh, illuminated display panel. Uh, retrofits the Pip-Boy 2000, yeah, you know, MKVI kit. Um, it has a soft power up and flicker function, easy to install, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, that stuff doesn't matter. It looks nice. It's awesome. Um, it has a button to turn it on and off, and it also flickers. So if you know in the game, if you ever, like in Fallout 76, if you ever just leave your character idle with the Pip-Boy on, the, the screen will start flickering, and then your character bashes it like two times to make it stop. It's it's very much in the game, and trust me, if you let your character idle it, it's really cool. Um, but this thing does the same thing. It starts flickering, and then you have to hit it. And if you tap it, it'll flicker also. It's really cool. Anyways, let's get on to the unboxing portion. Um, because now that's what you've all been waiting for, so let's do this. Alright, now onto the portion that I've been waiting to do for so long. I am extremely excited to open this. Um, hopefully it comes apart right. I've had this with me for at least a few weeks now, during the move and everything, and I haven't been able to, uh, to open it at all. Also, working on centering things on the screen and all that, so if it's not fully centered, I apologize. I'm still working on it. This is a full new setup, so. Uh, can you let go? You know, just speed this up. Aha, uh -huh, there we go. <laughs> that was way more annoying than it should have been. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Oh, yes. Uh, fitting an operation instruction. So here are the instructions. So if you guys want to uh, have a look at that, pause that, you know. If you, oh my god, it still opens further. Oh god. Have a look at that, pause it, see how it goes on and everything, then be my guest. Hopefully you guys can see all of that. Um, and the back side, which is this way. Sadly, you guys will not be able to see this. Um, and then on to the next portion, which is, oh, yes, it is wrapped with nice newspaper. Okay, cool. I love this unboxing. I, I really do. It, it's always amazing. So this is the actual screen itself. Look at that. Even cables running along it. Nice. I like that. Okay, we'll set that right there. What else do we have in here? So this one's probably going to be the most- Oh, no, did I trip it? Okay, no, it's good. This one's going to be the most annoying to put together because this piece right here, um, I had a horrible time getting it together first try on uh, the actual pip boy itself. And taking it apart is going to be even worse. But it's, it's going to be worth it. It's, it's definitely going to be worth it. So we got more fusion cell double A's? Yeah, triple A's, triple A's. Um, and then an extra thing right here. Is there something under all this? No, that's just uh, not a thing. Okay, let's get rid of this. Get that out of here. And let's open this, see what this is all about. I actually don't know what this is. I don't. Oh, wait, this is the top. Yeah, top portion. There we go. That's the nice piece that we've all been waiting for. So there we have it. We've got three pieces here and some batteries. Um, yeah, let's get this out of here. Let's uh, let's start working on this. So uh, there you go. So I'm gonna speed this up and uh, I'll see you when it's done.
All right, so finally finished this, um, and it looks pretty nice. Uh, I've got a few complaints, but I'll get onto those in a second. First of all, let's uh, let's get this nice peel off. Oh no, see, it's like slightly off of the uh, the actual thing. So I'm just gonna, yeah. Oh, it ripped. Well, that was supposed to be very nice, but it uh, it ripped. Get some of that hair out of there. I got a new cat, so there's hair everywhere. Let's get this, uh, there we go. Um, so there's that. Let me just quickly, yeah, exactly. All right, so there we go. There's the Pip-Boy screen. Hopefully you guys can see that in all of its glory. Um, it is fully installed, everything's back on. Um, like I said, I do have a few complaints, but I'll get onto those. Um, so, you know, I have the radio module here, still working. And for the final reveal, boom, there you go. It is on and hopefully you guys can see that correctly and it looks all nice to you guys. There is the screen. You have status, item, data, and radio. Um, and then, you know, everything else, all the subcategories, and then your actual person, and then the name, which is Albert, HP, <laughs> you lost like five, so kind of level five, not bad. And then 79 and 105 AP. So it's really cool. It looks really nice. Uh, I mean, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it does kind of like, oh, no, there's the other feature, but it does kind of like have the uh, weird effect on the screen. I don't know exactly what it's called. I just know it happens on older monitors. It, it just, it looks nice. It looks very nice. Anyways, so randomly when you have your Pip-Boy up and you're in your menu kind of like this, uh, your Pip-Boy will start flickering like it just was. So once it does it again, I'll show you. All right, so there it goes, it is flickering. And then all you have to do is, boom, it's fixed. Also, when you hit it, if you tap it, like just lightly, it will flicker. It's 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 really cool. I mean, honestly, if you ask me, it, it, it's really cool. When you turn it on and off, it does a slight fade in. Oh, there's me. Um, and it looks really nice. So that's the actual screen itself. Um, and it looks, it looks pretty nice. Now onto the other portion. So the building portion of this, this is probably the most tedious one I've had to do yet. I had to completely disassemble the radio, take it all apart, uh, remove everything basically from the whole, like I had to remove all the modules except for like this side. And uh, upon doing that, it asked me to remove these portions in here. Let me just turn this off. So it asked me to remove these clips on the uh, the inside, I don't know if you can see those, these right here. There are three little clips on there, and if you can probably see, this right here is one of them. I just hit my head on the, uh, the camera, but that is a piece of the clip. So it told me that in the instructions to remove these with a little bit of force, it'll take force, and it more than likely will break them, but there will be some included inside of the kit. Well. I got none. I got none at all, actually. Um, I am contacting them currently to see if I can get replacements, because I've gotten replacements for a bunch of things um, so far, which are on their way soon. But yeah, that, that's a little upsetting that they didn't give me replacements, and now this whole bottom half does not hold on at all. It's only the top holding this whole piece together right now, and like I said, it's a little upsetting, but that's fine. Um, other than that, it looks nice. It looks really cool. It is an awesome addition to this, so when you have it all on, this is what it's going to look like. I'm going to turn that down. Um, so there you go. You have the full... I'm trying not to hit that mic. I don't know which mic I'm going to be using. But you have the illuminated display right there. You have the illuminated... Or the, or, the illuminated... You have the illuminated display right there and the radio module all lit up over here. Let me just go ahead and turn off this light. Let's see if this works. Oh, it's going to wiggle. Eh, eh, eh. I don't know how to turn that off. Okay. Um. Anyways. <laughs> oh yeah, there it goes. It's 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 doing the thing again. So I'm gonna go quickly turn off the light, and you can see what this thing looks like in the dark. There we go. Lights are off. Hopefully this can pick this up fully. <laughs> this might might be too dark, but it looks it looks pretty nice. It looks really, it, it, it's vibrant actually, it's very vibrant, it's, it's very bright, um, it, it, it's enough to cast, I am dropping something all over, it's enough to cast a light, 
all over things. Like it, it, it's it's very bright. Um, and I'm actually surprised by how bright it is. So it can light things up. That's pretty cool. Um, and then turning it off. Turning it on. Let's turn off that. And it looks very nice. Let me turn the lights back on. So yeah, all in all, what would I say this is? I would say it is worth it. It is about, I want to say $39, $39, $40 around there USD. That is uh, without tax and everything on the Bethesda store. Um, and it, 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 I mean, it, it gives what it says it does. I mean, it, it's an illuminated screen. It looks nice. It gives the flicker. Um, it has really, really nice, like, graphics on it, especially, like, for what it is. Um, and it's just, it's nice. It's a nice addition to your Pip-Boy. Um, and would I recommend this? Definitely. To anyone that has the Pip-Boy 2000 for $40, this is a no, like, an, 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 no doubtedly a good thing to throw money at. It's if you have money to throw at it. Um... Again, though, this is not for somebody that wants to waste their time on putting it together because, oh god, was it, like I said, it was very tedious. That took me at least an hour, maybe 45 minutes, which is the normal time for most of these to put together. Um, and then I did have the issues with the clasp not being there, uh, or not the clasp, but the, uh, the, uh, little things that, the clips, we'll say, uh, on the back not being in there and breaking completely off so they're they're done for i only have the they're only being held in by small things but i did contact their support and their support is very very nice like very nice they've helped me get a bunch of new sticker play or a bunch of new stickers new plates um and uh i'm getting a new cage as well as a new clasp because of the new clasp system that they had so thank you very much one company um and also Thank you, you guys, uh, for enjoying these videos. Um, if you do like this, though, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Um, I will be uploading more things like this. The next video that I will do of these kinds will definitely be uh, the, the the rad module. I don't know exactly what they call it, but I think it's still in the picture as right here. Hopefully you guys can see this. It says... EM radiation sensor upgrade module, and then it, it talks about this, you know, the, the, the radiation sensor module. Um, that will be coming out soon, hopefully. I hope it's very soon, because I've been waiting forever for that. That is this little module, which is going to be a pain in the butt to put on, but it is going to be awesome when it's done. So yeah, anyways, like I said, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, and uh, do be sure to comment what else you guys think I should do, like if there's anything else uh, that you guys want to see me do. Um, then I will totally do it. Just comment down in the, the comments. And then other than that, check out all the socials down there. Um, and you can talk to me on there also. And, uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next stream or video. Thank you. Peace.